today I'm going to jump into showing you guys how, or at least one method for optimizing rocks. Um, this is going to be, there's obviously plenty of things that you can do before you're in engine with rocks. Um, there are a few things that you can do within Unreal Engine as well. That is specifically in this video we're going to be looking at culling unwanted triangles using the landscape essentially as a like a boolean tool if you know what that is in modeling it's where you sort of intersect two shapes with each other and use one to kind of cut away the information from the other i've just started doing a bit of a rock assembly i've only just started really so obviously this whole mountain eventually is going to be covered and i've got these all into data layers um, which I can hide and unhide here which is uh, an interesting thing which maybe I'll do a little video on as well um, just to show you how to set those up because uh, it's quite handy being able to load and unload big chunks and stuff while you're designing but anyway in this data layer I have this set of rocks which I am slowly building up and it is made up of lots and lots and lots of individual rocks which can start to stack up Let's just say that we've completed everything and you're 100% happy with where everything is and you don't want to change anything and now you're ready to kind of, you know, optimize a bit. Let's just first take a look at um, one of these rocks and let's just have a look at the the geo, uh, the geo and stuff. So obviously these are for, these are from a pack that I'm using, a Decagon pack, rock pack and they're pretty cool and I've done a lot of editing already to kind of optimize the materials a little bit um, but yeah looking at this specific rock here is 12,000 triangles and then let's say this rock here is 415,000 triangles which is uh, a big 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 chunk so let's say you know we want to cut those down you can obviously take these into other modeling software and uh, decimate or manually cut out the stuff but it starts getting to the point where you know it's a lot of manual work and maybe you just want to keep that detail um, but the stuff on the inside of the mountain is essentially wasted unless you're going to obviously do like an interior with a cave or something then obviously you would want to keep that um, as a method of doing both the inside and the outside but typically we don't need that stuff on the inside so there is a way that you can use the landscape as a sort of cutter and you can slice away the stuff on the inside So first thing we want to do is we want to go to the merge actors tab which you can get by going to uh, tools and hit this merge actors button here and that will open up the merge actors tab which will bring you to this now I'm just going to use base settings currently I'm not going to go into all of these I'm just going to use the standard merge which is just what comes default when you open that tab um, so I'm going to select a couple of rocks now we can do it with just one rock but I'm just going to do like two for example because you know it's uh, just a way of showing you that you can you can of course just use one if you want to do this process for each individual one um, which is fine if you're not aware of the merge tool uh, please comment and I'll do a, a video on the merge uh, options as well because there are quite a few but we're just going to do standard one so anyway we've got these two rocks selected and you can see that these meshes come up in the merge components to be incorporated into the merge so it shows you in this panel what you've got selected essentially and you can uncheck and check them you know if you need to so <clears throat> just look in here I probably need to make this a little bit bigger so we have a lot of options ignoring all of them this is the one we're interested in we have this use landscape culling uh, option which is whether or not to use available landscape geometry to cull away invisible triangles and what we want to do is tick this on but if you was to just select that and hit the merge button you'd be asked to where you know to save it uh, and do all of that and then you would find that 
the process hasn't worked. One thing I'm initially going to do is I'm going to actually duplicate these. So I'm going to make a copy as you can see because I don't actually want to commit these rocks yet. Um, personally, I'm just showing this to you um, as an example. So one thing I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to remove those from this data layer um, just so I can see what I'm working with specifically here. And this is all good to go. So we've got our rocks selected and we have turned on landscape culling in the merge options use mer uh, use landscape culling and uh, everything is good so I'm going to hit merge this asks you then to find a location I have a optimizing folder in here I'm just going to add randomly here I'm just going to call this merge uh, rock and escape culling zero one okay so hit save and I also had this replace source actors ticked auto save I hate these things I keep forgetting to turn that off but while that's happening uh, yeah so if you hit this replace source actors um, tick box it will basically remove the source actors and replace them with your merged option okay so we've got our mesh and as you can see nothing has happened it's merged the mesh and we've got our new mesh which is great um, but you know that's not exactly what we wanted to happen there's nothing special about that it's just combine these two meshes even though we had the settings correct so I am going to just control Z that so we should have our two meshes back we do obviously have our copy here um, but what the reason this hasn't happened is because we need um, to do one more step in order for this use landscape culling option to work and that is to allow it on our landscape and if we just come into the outliner just gonna close these and select our landscape sorry my windows are probably pretty alien at looking to you at the moment but that's because I have them separately uh, usually um, but yeah once we have our landscape selected we just type in culling we have this hlod category use landscape for culling invisible hlod now obviously this isn't specifically for hlod but it uses the same options in order to allow this to work so once that is done once we do the merge again we should see the uh, behavior happening how we expect to go um, so yeah we make sure we got all this selected make sure our uh, landscape culling option is ticked and then we hit merge and then I'm just gonna overwrite the previous one and as you can see I'm now gonna minimize that we can see that the landscape has sliced off all the triangles that have gone beneath the landscape uh, pretty handy and allows you to do a few things, save off, shave off quite a few different um, a few triangles essentially um, specifically how many obviously depends on how much is beneath the landscape but the now total um, seems to be you know zero is now a total of 5,100 I don't know if that's the true amount because maybe it's done some some strange things but the look is, is kind of indistinguishable from the original you can then obviously if you need to still enable nanite and yeah we can see that this is all working good so yeah, that's just an option there for you. 
And that is it because this video is already getting long. I hope that helped and uh, gives you some more options for your optimizing journeys.